ye must ye be Jonesin. Have you heard any buzz about the book, The Myth of Inequality by Phil Graham and John Early? It's all over the right wing talk radio now, and it's being used as a resource to pr prove that we spend too much money on the poor as it is. And there's no such thing as poverty in America. Just curious about your take. If I don't know anything about it, but I, I know the argument. 50 years ago, nobody had, you know, uh, only rich people had refrigerators. And now everybody's got a refrigerator. Yeah, and and also, everybody's got a flat screen TV. Also, LBJ tried and failed. So we can't, so actually nothing can be done to help people in poverty. That's going to be the thing. It's They're Hoover Institution freaks, is who yeah. those guys are. The only problem with that argument is if people paid attention to the fact that we just went through two years where we cut uh, the number of kids living in, in poverty by almost half. It was that like we, we caught by 35, 40 percent. And we just did it like that. Yep. Issuance of uh, of child tax credits. Bingo, bango. And w nobody talks about it because nobody wants. There is a. A real agenda to make sure that um, the American public don't realize it's just a policy choice. It's a choice. Mm. It's just a choice we're making. It, this that is what Charles empowering. Murray was doing, like naturalizing <laughs> it, whether it's the um, bell curve stuff about race or whether it's the uh, losing ground stuff with sort of Appalachian culture and white culture. It's just to naturalize the fact that we make a choice that certain people are going to be more materially deprived. We have cut the incidence of cancer in the past 30 years by 30%. 30%. And research shows that it's not a function of coming up with better cures. It is a function of catching it early, which means um, like having programs for whole health, right? Which you can push by having people have health insurance that makes going to the doctor for preventative reasons cheaper. And by things like banning cigarettes, in you know and and diminishing the uptake essentially of kids starting to smoke but and i gotta say I, as a former smoker it's just so much more pleasant to go into a bar now and not stink of that bar uh cigarettes for weeks mm. and i, I said as even, a former smoker well i can't uh, even i can barely even remember a time when that was the case not i age myself but 